Hi, so my name is Basim Yacoub. I'm a fellow at Pembroke College and I'm a lecturer in the history of political thought um, in the Faculty of History. Um, my research focuses mainly on the history of ideas about politics in the 20th century, but if the 19th century too, most in Europe, but often outside of Europe. And what I really focus on is the relationship between politics and social change and how various thinkers, intellectuals, journalists, philosophers try to understand those changes and put them into words. And also what effect their words had on some of those processes. So I've just completed a book on the political thought of a German Jewish woman uh, called Hannah Arendt, one of the most recognised political thinkers of the 20th century. And one of the things she grappled with as a stateless person for 18 years and an emigre to the United States was how we can build a sort of politics that includes the marginalised and gives them a voice and a stake in society without turning into a form of charity. Um, what she was perhaps most exercised by was the rise of sort of nativist uh, ethnocentric violent movements that use political terror in the middle of the century so Stalinism and Nazism so lots of people have been tempted to draw parallels between the epoch she was writing about the 20s and 30s a period of intense political mobilization of racism of imperialism and interstate violence and some of the dangers that people associate with the present day so my work tries to put her back into that febrile context in the middle of the century and see where her ideas came from, who she was engaging with and why, and even perhaps uh, what we can learn from her and other thinkers grappling with those problems of inclusion and exclusion, racism and violence. So that's the book I've just completed and uh, I also teach uh, for Pembroke, for the faculty. I run a master's programme in political thought and intellectual history. Um, my research, I'm glad to say, does feed into my teaching. So I teach the history of political ideas um, from the 17th century to the present. So lots of famous philosophers, some less famous philosophers, writing about a whole range of topics from the economy to the nature of the state, to imperialism, to racism, and so on. One of the really great things about teaching at Pembroke and in Cambridge in general is that you get to build very serious, intense working relationships with students. You get to guide them through a particular period uh, in a very sort of intensive teaching format. So that really is one of the pleasures of being a fellow here. Um, what I'm working on currently, now that I've finished this book on Hannah Arendt, is something on the international ideas of German thinkers from the early 20th century to the late 70s or 80s. So we're used to thinking of Germany as a behemoth sort of striding or straddling across um, European politics. And we're used to thinking of how it became this power in a few set ways. So we think of the Nazis and then we think of the European Union. And we think of those things as quite separate um, epochs in a way. And I guess what I'm trying to do is show the continuity and also some of the changes in how Germans thought about international politics, world politics and Europe uh, especially across these wars and catastrophes. Um, so I'm looking forward to bringing some of that work into my teaching as well.